Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. I've had this channel for a few months now and I don't think I've ever done a like TBR pile video, which is strange because I really love watching those videos and I have like a couple of books that I have bought years ago and have not read yet. So today I'm going to be going through, you know, all the books I haven't read yet, like why I got them, why I haven't read them and we'll see what happens. Let's begin. The first book on this pile is Let It Snow by a selection of people. I bought this because it was a John Green book, so we're going to focus on John Green. I think I got this, I would have read Fault in Our Stars first, that's my first John Green book, and at the time that was his most recent one as well. So I have bought this around the time Fault in Our Stars came out, so a couple of years ago now. And I started reading it, I bought it purely because it's a John Green book, I don't think I even like read the blurb or anything, and maybe because it was shiny. But yeah, I read like, maybe not even chapters, I read like a few pages and I just didn't, I just wasn't interested in it. But it's been so long that I don't remember what this is about at all, so I'm gonna try again. I might wait for, you know, winter time for the Christmassy aesthetic, but I attempted it and I abandoned it. I just realised it says three holiday romances on the front. but. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> I've had this book for years. But anyway, I'll be trying that around Christmas time. <laughs> the next book on this pile is The Live Tree by Frances Hardinge. And I won this in a giveaway of Mavellas. And... What did I do with it? Oh, I got this in a giveaway, then maybe like a week later my aunt got me the same book. That's also her. My aunt got me this one. No. My aunt got me this book as well, so I had two of these, and I was like, what do I do with it? So I went and I swapped one for this book, and I started reading this one instead, and just forgot about this one. So this one I haven't started for no good reason, I just forgot about it. <laughs> and this one isn't technically a TBR, because I've read, I maybe got like halfway through, and I wasn't really paying attention when I was reading it, and I was just so confused what was happening. So I was just basically struggling to read through it and I wasn't invested and I didn't know what's happening because I didn't pay attention at all. So this isn't really a TBR, this is a I read a bit of it and got distracted because that's what my brain does sometimes. So this next book is True Dark and um, this is a sequel to a book that I don't own. I don't remember when I got this. I does it say anywhere? Any dates? I got this years ago. Is this copyright 2015? Maybe it's 2015. But yeah, I got this years ago. I didn't realise it was a sequel when I bought it, and I started reading it, and I was so confused. And then I looked in the front where like the list of books they've written come up, and I was like, oh, a sequel. So I haven't read this because I don't own the first book, basically. That's what that one is. The next up is a book by one of my favourite authors, Rick Riordan, and this is the sequel to the first book in the King Chronicles, what was like The Red Pyramid, and I read that book and I just saw like a shine on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. So I read the first one and I liked it, but I didn't really love it, and it's probably like my least favourite out of all of his series. So this is a book I will read at some point, but just, it's not priority, basically. Because yeah, I do love his writing style a lot, and I love all his worlds and his stories, but just this series I wasn't invested in, because I think it was swamped with like too much mythology and not enough actually happening, that I was just, like, it was an alright book. But I will read, I will read this eventually, I have to. My aim is to read all of his books, but he keeps coming out of new books, so I'm just going to be like stuck reading his books forever. Is he going to be like Michael Jackson, where like Michael Jackson's releasing albums even after he's died, and Rick Riordan's just going to be like, he's either immortal or he'll be like releasing books from Beyond the Grave, and that's a talent. Next up is Passenger, which is still probably like one of the prettiest books I've ever seen, and I got this because everyone was obsessed with it, and then it there was so much hype behind it. And I just haven't got round to reading it, I don't think. Actually, I, th I think I've read like the first chapter of this. 
why did I not finish this? Oh, I read the prologue and I got distracted by something else. But yeah, I got this book because it's very pretty and it was everywhere. But I think I got scared off by there was too much hype and also I had no idea what this book is about. Like, I still don't really know what this book is about. It looks like time travel. But yeah, I I just bought a book because it was pretty and I don't even know if I'm going to like it. <laughs> I've realised that there's a lot of books in this pile that I've like started reading and then got distracted. But they're not quite like did not finishes because I only got like a chapter in. It's not like I got halfway through and abandoned it. Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did do that. So next up is Nightfall which is another book I read like the first chapter of and then got distracted. I think a lot of these books I read the chapter and then because I'm... I need a book that gets me hooked instantly because these, if it takes me more than the chapters I get in, I will get distracted by something else. So yeah, here's another book I read the chapter of and got distracted. This is one that I, I think I got given it but it was one I picked out. And so I know it's a book I'm going to be interested in, it's not just like I got it shoved at me and it's like, hey you might like this. But yeah, this is a book I will definitely read at some point because I know I probably will like it, I just can't make myself read it, basically. It means I'm kind of slumped while I'm just reading like contemporaries right now. It's like, a, what am I actually doing? It's like a mixture between like ping pong and back and forth between contemporaries and books I've already read and know I will like. So yeah, here's a contemporary that I haven't read. <laughs> I got this on like, an, I think this is from like an offer in Tesco's where you can get two books for £7 or like £4 each which is very good seeing as one book is £8. I bought this before I got Everything Everything but I read Everything Everything first and I didn't really like it so now it's kind of put me off this one even though I picked this up because I thought I'd love it. So I don't know how to feel about this anymore. So like, if you've read this book or you know a lot about this book, please leave me a comment about it and let it motivate me to read it. Because I've been put off by another one of these books, even though I got this one first. <laughs> this is a book that I haven't read because I've bought it, like, I got it at the weekend. It's now Wednesday. I got it on Sunday. So this is like my newest edition. I don't like it because it's very floppy, like this. I like my books to be rigid, not a saggy book. <laughs> But I got this because I read Three Dark Crowns and even though I didn't really like it, the ending put in like so many new twists in it that I just had to have the second book. So I got the second book. But now I've lost the motivation to read it. <laughs> and um, I'm just thinking that I do really like this cover but you have this... The first book it was like black and red. This one has like a black and it's got a blue colour scheme going on but it's also got orange and red and green and... It's a bit much. It's it's so floppy. So how many of these books are there? Is there a third one that I'm going to have to read? And the final book I have not read is Replica. I don't... I think it goes this way. Yeah. The barcode's on the back here. But it's like two stories in one and I haven't... I, where did I get this one first? I got this from a book box, like a book subscription box. I don't remember what was it called. I've got like the magazines that come with it back there, but I got this from that book in that box and I was really excited to read it because at the time of this box arriving this was like the big like the book everyone was talking about. And I thought it would be really exciting so that it's like two books in one. But it's so big. And I don't have the motivation to read a long book. Like, how many p? I don't know how many pages there are. There's a butterfly in the middle. That's cute. So one section is like 240 pages long. The other one is 290. So that's like almost 600 pages and I don't have a long attention span so I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this but I have to read it because I bought it basically 
also if you know something about this let me know in the comments again because I know this was like a huge book Em was talking about at some point and I'd quite like to know why because I don't actually know what it's about like I've read the little like description like the blurb bit for each section but I, I still don't know what's happening so thank you for watching this video. In the comments below, let me know some books on your TBR pile right now. Do you have some of the same ones as me? And also, if you've read some of these books, please let me know what you think. And, like, yeah, motivate me to read it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.